In this video, we will discuss the problem count subsequences of the type a to the power i, b to the power j, c to the power k. The problem says that we have been given a string s and the task is to count the total number of subsequences of the form a to the power i, b to the power j and c to the power k. So let us say that we have been given a string s and in that String, what we have to do is we have to count the number of subsequences that are of the type a to the power i, b to the power j, okay, and c to the power k, where i is greater than equal to 1, j is greater than equal to 1, and k is greater than equal to 1. Okay, so we have to note that two subsequences are considered to be different if the set of array indexes picked from two different uh, two different subsequences are different okay so we have to consider the first condition and the second condition is that for the large test cases we have to return the result like whatever result we are calculating every time since there will be a lot of additions so we always have to do modulo mod so that the answer is lying inside the range so let us have a look so let's say if it is a b b c so in that case if they give something like if they give the string like a b b c so we can observe that in this string the subsequences are a b c okay so what i can do is first of all i can take this a this b and this c and i can form what i can form a b c then next up what we can do is we can take this a and the second b and then c so it can be a b c as well and lastly what we can take is we can also take the term that is a b b c that is two b's together that is nothing but a to the power 1 b to the power 2 like this is nothing but what a to the power 1 b to the power 2 c to the power 1 this is also one of the subsequences so total first type of subsequence second and third so total three subsequences you can easily see that are there now in the next example if we consider a subsequence like a b c and a b c okay so in this example like if we have abc and then abc again so in this part we can uh, like easily observe that some of the same subsequence that will be uh, that will be there is what first of all i can take like this abc this abc so abc of this subsequence abc of this then what we can what we can try to observe is like with this a this a and uh, i can take this b and then this c okay so there could be another subsequence like that then i could take this a and this c uh, like one by one I can keep on taking and if you will observe so total a b c a b c then a b b like a b b c then a b c a b c c then a b c and then a b c so total number of different types of subsequences that will be formed is nothing but 7 a as we can observe because a b b c and uh, this, these things will also be happening a b c c and a a b c uh, c so so uh, including this total 7 will be there so what we can try to do here is we can try to have a counter right we can try to have some counters we can have a count a that will count as the number of subsequence like the number of subsequence of letter a okay this a will help us to count number of subsequences of letter a so in this what we can say is suppose that if the count uh, of a is equal to 3 then uh, like if the count of a is equal to 3 then we have few possibilities now what could, what can be those possibilities so what we can observe is like it could be like a right first of all they say then empty then either then a and then a here and then empty or it could be like a and a okay so these are the three types of subsequences that are possible with this a right if if you have if you have uh, if you have count of a is equal to 3 so which basically means that either this empty a and uh, or the second could be a then empty then a then like you, you can say x a x or the pattern could be a a, a and then x on or the pattern could be a and a where x is x says that we did not use that particular character so this could be the thing so we have we have to also notice this part that the characters is independent between right so if we have a and a and we have an expression like let's say c b b a then b b c a c if you have this thing you can observe that this a and this a will uh, are the same because both have exactly two a's here okay now like let, let us suppose that what we do is we add one more a to this part so if we add one more a to this part so now the subsequence will be what like 
all the old subsequence right all the old subsequences will be there okay plus each of the old subsequence will be there okay and plus the new a will be there okay and plus the new letter a so that means a plus like count of a plus count of a plus one number of subsequences will be there and if we talk about uh, the count of b and the count of uh, c as well so we take variables like count of uh, b and count of c as well so here also same thing will happen so basically basically what we can observe here is that in this part like in the given string in the string that will be given to us if we have a count of a and we have a count of a b and then we have a count of uh, a b c we can say so by doing that what we can do is if we have if we get a count of a okay we, if we get a a as a count so a will become nothing but 2 into a plus 1 and i take the modulo then a b will be what a b will be nothing but 2 into a plus 1 again 2 into a plus a okay because it depends on a and a b c will be what 2 into uh, a b c plus a b and i will always take the mod in the end i can simply return this abc that contains the total number of subsequence so for this let us try and write the code here so what we would be doing here is we will have the long long uh, answer initially initialized to 0 and then we will take the mod is equal to 1 e 9 plus 7 okay so we will have the mod and we will have the count of a b and c initialized so let us say that we take it as long long as well so long long uh, count of uh, a is equal to count of a is equal to 0 and then count of a b is equal to 0 and then count of a b c is equal to 0 after this part is done so what we will do is we will simply iterate through the string so in i starts from 0 i is lesser than s dot size okay i is lesser than s dot size and then we do an i plus plus and in this part we can easily observe that if the ith character is equal to a okay if the ith character is a then what will happen a like the count of a will be what the count of a is equal to nothing but two times the count of a uh, plus one uh, and taking the modulus so that it can be kept under the range uh, otherwise if it happens let's say else if it happens that the ith character is equal equal to b if it's equal to b then what will happen the count of a b will be counted so a b will be nothing but two into count of a b and plus one and modulo mod is what I will be taking here and after this part in the else I will say that uh, count of uh, a b c is equal to nothing but 2 into a b c plus 1 like 2 into count of a b c right uh, count of a b c will be nothing but 2 into count of a b c plus 1 and then taking the mod part here okay so every time I take the mod and in the end I can simply return the count of a b c that will tell me about the number of subsequence of a to the power i b to the power j and c to the power k let us try and compile this code to see if it works on the samples so we are getting some wrong output in the sample part so we need to check if we have made any mistake so if the ith like initially we will mark the count of a count of b and count of c as 0 and then what we will do is we will iterate through the string so if uh, the character is equal to a okay so if the character is a then we will count of when then we will increase the count of a by 2 into count of a plus 1 otherwise we will increase, a, increase the count of b by 2 into count of b uh, count of uh, a b plus 1 okay otherwise uh, like if it's if it's equal to b then we will do this thing otherwise if uh, it is not the case if it is c then the count of a b c will be nothing but 2 into count of a b c plus uh, sorry so here we need to add a as well right because like for the for the a part we will add 1 then we will add a and here like we will add here the count of a and here similarly we will count uh, will add the count of a b and then we will try to compile it now it should work because for a b we should know the number of uh, count of a and for uh, a b c we should know the count of a b then only we can proceed further with the c's so you can see that our solution got accepted and this approach takes nothing but order of n time okay that is nothing but the length of the string and the space time complex uh, space complexity is order of 1 thank you